what I'm going to be reviewing today is The Sky, which is a book of art from the Final Fantasy series. Now, it's kind of unfair to say that this is a Final Fantasy con like concept art book. This is more the collection of Yoshitaka Amanu and his ideas and concepts and just how he brought the series to life. It's a great thing for any Final Fantasy fan. Um, <clears throat> basically what it is, is it comes in a big, like it's really big, it's about, I'd say 10 pounds, maybe not. It works out to, I think it was something like, well maybe it might be around 10 pounds. Uh, I think the shipping weight said it was around 5 kilos, so. Um, it's really, it's nicely done, it's bound well. I picked this up in a store, so I, it just came in a plastic, a plastic wrapping around it to protect, this is a fabric on the slipcase, so it just came in a plastic wrapping to protect that. Now I've heard if you order from Amazon, it actually comes in its own box, and then it goes inside the Amazon box, just to make sure that this really beautifully done slipcover doesn't get ruined. Um, so as you open it up on the inside, you see that it's actually not one huge book, but three. And these books are separated by the games and what's inside of them. Now the books are nice, sturdy, and they are printed on a demi-gloss kind of, uh, kind of binding. They're nice, they're thick, they are sturdy, they feel like a school textbook but they are 10 times more interesting than one. Um, and as you open them up, you can just you can tell the mark of quality that these books had when they went in. Um, the binding is actually really nice, and you don't need to worry about having this fully open. It's not going to fall apart on you. Once you get to the middle of the, like, the, middle of the book, the binding is noticeable. Um, but again, it's so strongly done that you wouldn't... You can't really see it in the picture, but it's it's really strongly done, so you don't have to worry about it coming apart. Now, um, some of the art, especially in the first book, which the first book spans uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 3. The second book goes through Final Fantasy, uh, I think it's 4, 5, and 6. And this one goes through 7, 8, 9, and 10. Um, they're all really nicely done, and it's not so much the concept art, like I said earlier, it is Yoshitaka Amanu's, um, ideals in his world and his fantasies. Um, so as you go through, these pages were pretty much exactly out of the dawn, but as you go further and further, there is some differences between the two books. Um, this book is a hundred and like 44 pages which works out to the exact like just about pretty much bigger than what the dawn was so you're getting a lot of art now you can pick this up retail I believe um, for in the states 89.99 and here in Canada it's 99 or 98.99 but you can also pick this up online at any of your retailers like Amazon or um, Indigo or Barnes and Noble and I think I haven't checked the prices on Barnes and Noble but I know on Indigo and on Amazon it works at to like 59 something or $60 or $63 in something sense and it is really a beautiful sturdy collection of Final Fantasy art there's not a whole lot I can say like the paper is strong and sturdy Everything is beautifully printed on the sheets, and it looks like you almost have the, like, original art here with you to look at. The prints, like, they're beautifully drawn out, and they're beautifully, like, they're beautifully, beautifully laid out. And this is, even, even if you're not a huge fan of the Final Fantasy series, um, just the great quality of art that came in these books, and the great quality that it came with altogether makes this an item that I would definitely recommend. So, <clears throat> since I was talking a lot about the Dawn, I figured I would just show what it is. It's basically a very small version of the sky, and uh, this covers, I think it's art from the first four games. This one's kind of nice for the fact that um, you have these really beautiful pull-out covers that give you this large panoramic image, but aside from some of those 
ones. I think that were done almost specifically for this book. Um, most of the art remains the same. It's all pretty much all in the sky. I haven't found a print that's in this book that hasn't been in the sky yet. And it's just, it's nicely, this is nicely done in this little book too. However, I guess it's a nice alternative if you didn't like the later games or if you've only played the first few and they were your favorite. This is a nice alternative to the sky. However, this runs you $29.99. Um, if you can find it cheaper, 20 bucks. So you might as well just splurge and go the extra 40 if you're ordering on an online retailer and get this guy. But I figured since I was mentioning it a lot in my in my review of this guy that I would show you what I was talking about so you know. Um, basically the same thing. It's printed by Dark Horse as well. It's the, the paper's a little bit less of a quality than what you would find in this guy, but still very nicely bound, very, very nicely well done. The binding is the same. You just flip it open and you can leave it and you don't have to worry. Um, it's, it's just a nice, strong book. Um, but if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely go with the Sky Collection. Anyways, that's been my review of the Sky. It's gotten all thumbs up from me. If you were a little bit leery about purchasing it, hopefully now you're not as... Uh, reluctant to go out and get it because it is really worth like it, it gives you the bang for your buck and it is definitely worth the price that you pay for it all right that is it um i hope you guys enjoyed and maybe i'll have another review up sometime